Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please be an honest witness to the over 100 videos I made on Shopify customization. <laughs> Same for you as well. If you have any comments, make sure, I mean video requests, sorry. Make sure to drop on below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you too. And you already know, I made over 100 videos on Shopify customization and they were mostly requests from subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button will help me out. That's all I'm asking. Well, actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, why not subscribe to the channel? I don't have any courses to sell, never will. I don't have any codes to share, to sell, I mean, never will. I don't have any memberships or anything like that and never will. All the content I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some ads, but that's the case for most of the videos on YouTube, right? Same as the entertainment things you watch, right? And this is not an entertainment videos. I'm here to show you value or to teach you things that you might not know it will help you in your personal f uh, life, I mean. I have a couple of jokes every now and then, but I, I don't consider my jokes are that good anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> let's just quit talking. Actually, here I am again back with another video, which is how to increase products on collection i mean products number or show more products on the collection page on your shop if i store and yes this was a request again i did show him how to do that the guy or the girl i don't remember anyway i did show the person who asked me how to do that because it's fairly easy but for most for again because in my experience questions keeps repeating no matter if last year or two years ago, the same question, I will get the same question again this year. So <laughs> instead of replying to each person, then I make a video like this, the one you're watching right now. Uh, so anyone who has the same question can easily do that. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. So as you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard, by the way. And I have here the down team and I do demonstration in the video on down team. But if I scroll down in here, I mean the video you're watching, I'm going to do demonstration on down team, but I have every other the most used free Shopify teams, which is Taste, Sense, Refresh, Spotlight, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try the trick. Every trick I do share on my channel, I do try the trick behind the scenes on all of these teams. So even if you're not using down team, using one of these, it should work for you just fine because I do try it behind the scenes and I do that so I don't bore people in the video. And demonstration, I do it in down because it's the most requested one and also is the most used one. So I just want to give you a peace of mind so you would know that this guy only showing for down team. No, I, you, even if you're not using one of these, it will work for you just fine. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. So let's just quit talking again for the second time and let's just get to it. This is the Shopify store. I do all the demonstration in here and many things in here you can see. If you want to do any of these, check out the channel. I already posted the video. Transparent header, search bar, uh, moving announcement bar with gradient color, with a click, a link. I mean, if I click on it, it's gonna take me back to the, to the future products, as well as the button in the middle of the page, to WhatsApp button, many, many more. So make sure to check out the channel. But in this video, what I'm talking about, for example, if I access this, oh, by the way, if you want to add icons to the menu like this, make sure to check out the channel. I already posted that video as well. So let's just say this one, take accessories. And I have this picture, what this is doing here? I'm not sure anyway. So this is take accessories collection. If I scroll down, it only shows a couple of uh, products then next to the next page. If I go to the team editor and if I click on here and collection, default collection, and I click on the product grid, uh, the, the maximum products per page is 16. As you can see, let me zoom in on it. 16 is the maximum products you can have on a page. If you can see here, this is 16, yeah, 8, 8, 16, then you need to jump to the next page. How can you show more products in here? That's very easy. Just get back to the uh, product uh, dashboard, sorry, Shopify dashboard. Then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. And it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. Instead of, because we're gonna find the specific file in here, instead of looking at the folder, use the search bar at the top left corner and you're gonna write in a very long name, which is main 
dash collection dash product dash grid yeah that was very long no worries i will put the link for it in the description box so uh, simply click on main collection dash product dash grid dot liquid click on it then inside this code we need to find the specific section instead of looking at the code like this you can get dizzy or be blind <laughs> i'm joking you're not you're not turn blind anyway click on the code just like you want to write something and don't write anything use the keyboard then on your uh, yeah on your keyboard use the keyboard on your keyboard use the keys on the, your keyboard and simply if you are windows you are a windows user click on Control f if you are a mac like me click on command f and it will show you this prompt right here at the bottom of the page because as i said we need to find a specific section and this thing will help us do that and then here you're gonna type in something really obvious which is products with an s uh, and dash this is not dash dash at the bottom um, I don't know what it's called. I apologize. English is my third or second foreign language, so I apologize. Then per again another one, another one page. That was very simple, right? Product dash. I mean the the bottom dash. This the bigger one. <laughs> per dash again the bigger one page. Click enter, and it's gonna highlight it on the call just like you want. To, oh, we need to find another one. I apologize. Uh, not the first one. It's going to be two on the file. This one. Not this one. The second one. Which is this one right here. So let me close this first. And if I zoom in in here, you can see it says max 2.16. Hmm. Sounds familiar, right? If you highlight the this, it's going to say the maximum input. The maximum value for the input. If we get back to the team customizer, if you remember, actually it was 16, right? I think if you use your brain a little bit, you already know what to do, right? Simply increase this. If you want more products, increase this. Let's just do 40. Yeah. Let's just do 40, right? And let's just click on the save button. After the changes will save it, we will get back and click on customize. And from here, we're going to go to the collection page, default collection page. And we click on product grid. Oh, now it's not the end. If I drag this, it, sh it says 16, but I can actually increase it. 40, which is the same number we did set it to. And if we click on the save button, we get back in here. It says here, the second page, reload. Okay, no more second page. It shows all the products in here because I think I have, yeah, 32 products. It's all shown in a single page. You don't have to navigate to the second page and third page fourth page and so on and that's how you increase the numbers or show more products on the collection page on your shopify store without using any apps if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one